Welcome biologists and in this session we're going to be focusing on co-dominant inheritance. We've already had a look here at those points in green so now we're going to be focusing on co-dominant inheritance and in the next video we're going to be focusing on epistasis and linkage. So as with all of the other inheritance types that we've been looking at it's really important that when we're presenting our answers we present them in this format where we're covering these three these, sorry these four points here and I'm going to demonstrate that in a question shortly. So the first example that I'm going to go through is the colour of snapdragon flowers. Now here we have two alleles, CR and CW. CR will code for a red coloured pigment if I have two, two of these. And if I have two CWs, I will get a white flower. Now if I have a mix, both of these, CR and CW, it's like both of those colours are expressed at the same time. So co-dominance. The red and the white, neither of them are dominant and neither of them are recessive. They are both expressed when I get a heterozygous individual and therefore that results in pink flowers. So let's have a look at some questions. So our first cross will be between a pure breeding red plant and a pure breeding white. So here I have, first of all, the genotype of my parents. Second of all, I need to then identify the possible gametes from my parents, which are as so. I then need to do the cross. And then following my cross, I then need to make my phenotypic ratio. Now, it could be a ratio, it could be a percentage. So in this particular example, I'm going to have 100% of pink flowers. The next example is doing a cross to, to get the F2 generation. So this here is my F1 generation. I then cross two of these individuals to get my F2 generation. So the genotypes of my parents here are going to be like so. The these are the products from my F1 generation that I'm now crossing. So the possible gametes from these genotypes are like so. I would then put them into the cross and then I would express what my ratio would be. So I'm going to get a 1 to 2 to 1. I'm going to get a red to pink to white ratio. The next example is looking at red, white and rowan cows. So obviously a red cow and then a white cow and then a mixture of the two um, both colours being expressed here, I get a rowan cattle, rowan cows. And we'll look at an example of a cross. Um, so there's an example of how it all works out, but we need to display it in terms of a Punnett square. So first thing you're going to do is um, show the, the cross between a true breeding red and a true breeding white. So there we have the genotypes of the parents. I then need to express what the gametes would be. It's important I put these in circles so you're showing the examiner you know what you're talking about. I then put them into a Punnett square and complete the cross and I get 100% Rowan cattle in my ratio. Now the second bit of that question there is asking us to explain what would happen if I crossed two of these Rowan individuals. So in the next question, here I have the genotypes of the parents I'd be crossing. I've got two Rowan individuals there. Um, I would then need to express what the genotypes would be from these um, parents in circles, so it's obvious to the examiner. I then put them into a cross, and then again, I express my ratio. So I've got a 1 to 2 to 1 again, red to rowan to white. So co-dominance, if I do cross two heterozygous individuals, gives me a 1 to 2 to 1 ratio. So there we have it, that's what co-dominance is, and that's some examples of how it's worked out. Those are the most popular examples, I don't think I've seen anything other than Snapdragon and Rowan Cattle. So guys, good luck in your exams, and as ever, please remember to use those four points um, to make sure you're picking up all your marks when doing a cross, and good luck with your exams.